coordinator here at Cote Howe Lake District Weddings. Today I'm going to give you a little tour of the inside of the wedding barn here at Cote Howe. So today we've set up the wedding breakfast here in the barn at Cote Howe for a wedding breakfast for 16 people. Got lots of different layouts. You can have individual tables, you can have your traditional horseshoe shape, you can have round tables. It's entirely up to you. But what has become ever popular is the square polo, as we call it. Uh, nothing fancy there, it's got a hole in the middle, um, which is rather nice. Um, usually, although I have to admit I haven't done it today, we would fill that centre gap there with lots of rustic stumps, um, wooden stumps, tree trunks and I would fill it with some lovely fresh flowers, lots of, um, actually not live candles for obvious reasons, but we would put in there lots of these little um, fairy lights in the jars to highlight it. So we would have lots of little bits of uh, rustic feel to it. So the window ledge at Coates Howe is always covered in lovely fairy lights, candles which we provide all of the fairy lights for you you don't need to bring any of the lighting obviously that's all in place this year's little addition has been the the little floating island that's suspended above the table which we absolutely love so i've made this out of an antique wooden step ladder well, not a step ladder actually just a little tiny ladder anybody can do it in fact I have done a series of videos on my YouTube channel to show everybody how I've actually decorated the barn. So with this one, I've just used some of the fallen branches out of the garden. Um, I think these were silver birch trees and we've added them to the ladder and I've just added a little bit of um, ivy and clematis, which we buy from a great company called Floral Silks and then we've added the little tiny fairy lights. So, fairy lights are the theme here at Coat Howe, as you might have noticed. And as I say, I've done some demonstrations on how I've actually decorated this um, window and another video on how I decorated the arch around the doors here at Coat Howe um, using the floral silks and the festive lights who we use for all of our um, lighting. Um, so you might be interested in looking at that um, but there you go that's the table at Coat Howe now we quite often see our couples like to keep it local so I'm going to show you there we've got favour boxes by Grassmere Gingerbread absolutely fabulous um, so you can opt to either have the traditional blue and white Sarah Nelson um, little wax wrappers on your favours with your guests names on them or you can choose a selection of different fairy um, favour boxes. They do, these ones are white ones. You can do them with little maps on them, or you can do them with um, just the rustic brown colour. And then you can choose any colour of ribbons that you want to go with your theme, which is lovely. So that's a little tour of the barn. There is obviously uh, space at the end of the barn here for your evening reception if you wanted to have any uh, live music set up. Then we do have space here for a little bit of dancing, a little bit of jigging later. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to uh, open the barn doors next and show you how we would set up for an outdoor ceremony outside the barn. So, we've just had a quick look at the wedding breakfast set up and now I'm going to take you on a little tour of the outside space here now that we've opened up the barn doors so this is the threshold of the barn and for those of you that want to have an outdoor ceremony this would be the space that you would need if you wanted to have a legally recognized ceremony in England so at the moment you have to be inside a licensed structure or room and for us that's the barn we also have a license for the gazebo there which is the garden gazebo if ever you hear me referring to that that's perfect for elopements and tiny weddings the barn or the barn court courtyard is perfect for slightly larger celebrations where the wedding couple would stand here in the threshold of the barn 
beneath the eaves of this beautiful 16th century barn and in view of these fantastic and majestic mountains who would stand as your witnesses in time to your lovely marriage ceremony. We then can enjoy these gorgeous views of the Lake District countryside with the gorgeous mountains all around. Now I may struggle a little bit while I'm recording this because now we have bright sunshine into the camera <laughs> over the back of the barn. So I'm going to show you into the barn gazebo. It's a perfect little area for any time really, but generally speaking, once you've had your ceremony and depending whether you're just going to be here for your ceremony only or whether you intend staying, having your ceremony, then having a few photographs in the grounds and down by the lake and then having some food in our lovely barn, as you've just seen with our wedding breakfast set up. You can then sit back here and relax and watch the world go by. It's a fantastic place to sit here and just watch everything happening around you. It may be the wildlife, the little red squirrels, it might be the buzzard, or it might even be our cat. Look out for the ginger one, Fudge. He photobombs everybody's wedding. So sitting back here, enjoying a drink, um, particularly lovely in the evening times as uh, the sun sets directly over there, over Rydal Water, and we get these beautiful big skies. I'm gonna take a little walk further back now so that you get a feel for the size of this beautiful courtyard. Of course, it is adorned with festoon lights, as you can imagine. Caroline likes the fairy lights and the festoon lights, so they're all the way down this pathway here and they do come alive in the evening. Do have a look at our website actually we've got some fantastic photographs on there by some great photographers of the twilight which is one of my favorite times of the day so apologies again we've got direct sunlight coming into the camera and my phone isn't great at recording under these conditions so i'm going to head over here to shield the camera a little bit with the, the gazebo i quite often stand here while there's fantastic ceremonies are taking place. I get a great view from the, here inside the garden gazebo. So I hope you've enjoyed that. That's a little bit more about the outside area of the barn, the barn courtyard and the garden gazebo, plus hopefully a little bit of a snippet into the beautiful Lake District National Park there. So I'm going to end this video just by giving you a glimpse over the wall down towards the river, a little footbridge there towards Rydal Church and Rydal Village itself. So I hope you've enjoyed that and I do look forward to uh, hearing from you all in the near future. If you'd like to download our brochure on our website it's coathow.co.uk. Take a look at our Instagram, Facebook pages, Pinterest, and of course YouTube, where you will find lots of these virtual tours. So you can see all the different rooms in the house, the terrace, the house, the drinks terrace, and around the garden. So I've done separate little tours for you, just little five minute ones, and introductions to all the different wedding packages that we offer here at Coat How. Please take a look, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and uh, hopefully I'll uh, get to be meeting you soon. Take care.